Hello YouTuber Mr. Fox in a bit of a tutorial mood here so I thought I'd uh, do another one for Cinema 4D uh, there's a few tutorials on how to do this but in all fairness some of them didn't cover problem solving and others just sucked um, so I thought I'd throw mine out here and it is on creating graphics in Cinema 4D based on Adobe Illustrator files so what you've got to do um, should have really opened up Illustrator to demonstrate this but what you've got to do is that when you um, save your document in Illustrator, um, Command Shift S will save as, and you've got to save it as a Illustrator 8, 8, not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or even 6, or even 7 for that matter, but 8. Um, save it as an Illustrator 8, and then once you've saved it, find it. And as you can see, um, I believe this is the right one. Yeah, you can even see it says Illustrator 8, AI8. And just drag that into uh, Cinema 4D. As you can see, the graphic is in here, all nice, ready to go. Um, beautiful. Now, what you might want to do is actually move the paths down. This is made up of two paths, very simple. Um, yours might be made up of a lot more but it is most useful to have them made up of um, as few parts as possible. Let's just put them pretty central so we don't have to keep on moving around. Okay, then grab our two parts, get them outside of this item and delete that item. And then in here we're going to go extrude and it pretty much works just like text. Um, but you do need an extrude, um, I'm going to call them nodes because it's pretty much what they are and I like the term nodes. Um, so you're going to need an extrude node for every single path that you have. What you might want to do, say you wanted to mess around with like the bevel, so let's grab the um, extrude nodes of the A. Uh, caps, you want to do fillet cap, um, say you wanted like a bevel, then you might want to mess around with the settings on one, and then command C and command V, um, but instead put that underneath. Now you can try and do multiple parts under each node, but you will find problems, like you'll find it will work for a bit and then mess around, so to save you time in the long run, just don't. Um, so you can, as you can see, this is a good old AS Productions um, logo. Um, now I like navigating using the Alt key and various clicks, but Cinema 4D has got these tools up here, so you just click and drag up there and you've got zoom in and out, just move your mouse left and, left and right and then 3D rotate tool and it will rotate around your selected object and if you don't have a selected object then it will do it around the central um, the origin. So we've very easily, very simply created some graphics inside of Cinema 4D and um, what can you do now is that you can obviously texture them and I've now got the um, just recently bought the Sketch and Tune um, plugin, which is really cool. Um, you can go New Sketch Material, and very easily, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, create a new No Object. So in this Objects menu, we're going to go No Object. And I'm going to grab both our extrude nerves and plug them into that. And we're going to call this um, Logo because that's what it is, and you can grab the sketch and tune, put it on the logo, and as you can see very easily we've created a cool tune effect. Now this is just the default sketch um, thing, and the problem you're going to find here is that because this is made up of multiple parts, um, as you saw a second ago, it, there's going to be a line betwixt them, see that crossover line, which doesn't look very pretty. Um, but it can be corrected in Cinema 4D. If you go into, I believe it's path 3, um, double click on the path, um, hide the extrude, hide both extrudes for that, just 
click on the tick. Um, so click on path 3 and hit the C key, this will make it editable. Grab out points, and as you can see, everything in Cinema 4D will work just how it was in Illustrator, which is very cool. Obviously, you don't have all the designing tools that you have in Illustrator, which is why you want to do as much in Illustrator first. That looks roughly right, um, but roughly isn't good enough, guys. Never. So, you know, sort yourselves out. Um, as you can see, there's still a line there, but you're always going to have that line unless you do it as a single path. So that instantly looks a lot better. And this is just the default sketch um, material. I like to use this floating materials editor panel rather than the attributes panel. Um, but it's pretty cool. We can call it uh, logo material. I probably spelled that wrong. And then under color, I can change it to like red. Oh, I see. Wow. I haven't really messed around with this much, but there's lots of cool stuff here. That's pretty cool. Um, so lots of options. You could texture it however you want, but the idea of this tutorial was just a shout out. That is very simple to create 3D um, illustrations and graphics from Adobe Illustrator. If you'd like to see how to do this in Maya, let me know. Um, it works very similarly, however Maya is just that little bit more awkward. Thank you very much, rate, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think.